Previously on Nora G's Nook, I showed you seven DIY trays I made using some Dollar Tree items and also some items from Amazon. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. For today's video, sure real. hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is nora g and today's diy is very different okay different because we will be making a giant wall art using thumbtacks however i would not be doing this by myself so this is an art class a children's art class where we will be doing this so this is a diy i have done on my channel previously so we decided to do this on a larger scale and this time around we wanted to involve the kids so here we are doing a giant african map and we have our president that's the president of the cameroonian association of the region of waterloo um, helping us out as well so we did the giant african map sketch and then we will get the kids involved in doing this giant wall art which will be donated to the region of waterloo um, council that is the city of the region of waterloo and also they're going to be making another one which will be given to the museum of the region of waterloo so this is a very fun DIY. We got a bunch of thumbtacks from the Dollar Tree as well as the canvases, which is basically all you will need for this DIY. So uh, we got the kids involved since we were using four canvases, which will basically come together as a puzzle to form our wall art. It was easy to spread this um, um, between the kids to get them to pin the thumbtacks. So this is a fun DIY to do with kids because it got all of them very involved and also concentrated. So we were able to get them to focus and while we were doing this, we were telling stories. I shared stories with them. So we made it fun. They also had food to eat and some drinks as well. Did some jumping jacks to warm up. It was a fun activity to actually do with them. And um, I do recommend if you have kids this summer holidays and you want to get them involved in something fun, you could try this with them it doesn't have to be an african map it could be anything so this is what it looks like once we were done with the outline and it was all coming together so we continued putting our thumbtacks until every area of the african map will be completed so towards the end of this video i will also show you a smaller version of this that you could also try using gold thumbtacks or whichever color thumbtacks that you wish once we were done we had them use some mud podge to seal in the thumbtacks on the back side of our wall art this ensures that this can last forever we also will have another coating of that on the front of our wall art to preserve the thumbtacks from rust and this is what the final look is like what do you think we would like to know what you think about this giant wall art this four piece wall art put together uh, please do let us know in the comment section below also stick around with this video as i will go ahead to show you how you can do this on a smaller scale Moreover, even though we use four piece um, for four canvases here to just give it an extra effect, you could also choose to use one giant um, canvas to do this. Okay, so we just choose to do to use four because I felt this would give it an extra flair. Okay, so get your kids together, your grandkids together, your friends and family, and do some fun, you know, giant wall art. Something you'll be proud about, okay? So that is it for this first part. Now we're going to move on to the next one, which would be the, uh, the smaller version of this, which is very quick and easy, straight to the point as well. For this one, I'm using two canvases, black canvases, 16 by 20 inches each. And then I'm also going to be using this thumbtacks, gold thumbtacks this time around from the Dollar Tree as well. All right, so we will go ahead with our DIY, of 
course, we rip out our canvases and prep them for our wall art. Okay, so I'll go ahead to cut this foam board, which I will use to support my wall art as I work on it because I'll be using some Mod Podge on the back of this once I am done putting my thumbtacks. First things first, I sketched out my African map, which you can do something else. It doesn't have to be an African map. And if you're not able to draw by hand, you could also print out a stencil from online, wherever you could do flowers, you could do birds, you could do a butterfly. There are so many ways you can go with this. Okay, so me using an African map is just for reference. Alright, so now the fun part, which will be to put on our thumbtacks um, around our sketch or our drawing. So I went ahead to do just that. Just watch as I do this. To do the smaller version, this took me roughly about 30 minutes to about 45 minutes. Um, that is me, that is including breaks in between, washroom breaks. <laughs> so yeah, it, that doesn't take very long. The giant one did take quite a little bit more time. Um, but, but then if you have more hands like I did, then it takes less time. So it took us between from 5 p.m. to like 7 p.m. to complete the giant wall art. And we were like over 10 of us. So yeah. I'll go ahead to complete this and fill this up just like we did with the very first one. I'm pretty sure by now you get the gist. So if you have any questions about this, please do let me know in the comments section as I will let you continue watching this video without any interruptions. And also do let me know what your thoughts are about this particular wall art DIY. It is very easy, simple, straight to the point. And if this is something you will try sometime by yourself or with your kids or grandkids. So do let me know in the comment section as I would like to know. Please do watch to the end to see the finished work alongside another piece which I made and how I will be using these in my space and how I use them to decorate. With that said, do not forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing.